AI Chip Market Heats Up The AI Chip Market is one of the most dynamic and competitive industries going. In fact, we are definitely witnessing how AI chips are rapidly changing the semiconductor industry. While we still believe that NVIDIA and its graphic processing unit, aka GPU technology, is a good way to invest in the AI chips. As investors and developers, me myself, we want to keep tabs on the thread to the bottom line. There are the obvious competitors like Intel which has been making a big investment in AI chips autonomy and chip design. Google introduced its own AI chips just a few years ago, while Apple is designing AI chips for the company's iconic smartphones. China's AI chip startups have made a little attempt to hide their ambition to unseat NVIDIA. Though like many officers, they mostly focus on the AI edge computing applications. Among the many of the officers, the one company's growth is really outstanding. The Bristol UK-based AI chip maker, GraphCore. They are coming to the market with the IPU, Intelligence Processing Unit. From its naming, we can easily guess these chips are mainly target the AI, the artificial intelligence. December last year, GraphCore raised $222 million at Series E, and the funding gives GraphCore $440 million in cash and balance sheet and a post money. 2.77 billion valuation to start a 2021. And now they have raised $710 million in financing so far. And recently, GraphCore ringed the bell at the benchmark. There is the future and there is the money. GraphCore ride the money in the first MLPerf appearance. As usual, Nvidia and Google share the MLPerf reserve this time around with the DGX A100 system and TPU4 relatively. But notably, the research showing GraphQuery notes in respectable times versus the two consistent heavyweights, NVIDIA and Google. GraphQuery didn't take the top score in any of the tests, but it reported results that are significant when compared to the other two in terms of number of the chip used. Moreover, when leaving aside Google's submission, which isn't commercially available, GraphQuery was the only competitor to enter into the top five commercially available research alongside NVIDIA. Then, what is the difference of NVIDIA's GPU and GraphCore's IPU? And is it possible for GraphCore to be the next wave? The CPU has been the brain of the computer for decades. Much like a body, a computer's part work in tandem together to produce a collective outcome. But for the past 5 to 10 years, the GPU has been taken over in a greater and greater importance in the packing order. More tasks benefited from the different architecture and a differentiated computing focus, big physics problems, image recognition computation. Then the GPUs become the hall for the neural networks, machine learning, and the first mass market incarnation of AI. And as we pushed the boundaries of the Moore's law to its physical limitations, it was only a matter of time before these chips designed for the specific task cropped up. Enter the IPU and the main player, GraphCore. The venture capitals acquired declared that GraphCore is building a chip for the age of machine intelligence. Machine learning is the most impactful technology trend of the next decades and beyond. In the past few years, we have seen the rise in the new machine learning technologies that will radically transform traditional industries. From autonomous cars to the new air traffic control system and advanced in medical imaging, we are surrounded by the only sign of the machine intelligence age. The rise has been fueled by the discovery of GPU with its more parallel architecture, provides meaningful performance improvement for the machine learning over the more general purpose CPU. The result has been amazing for GPU maker NVIDIA. Its share price has grown by 7 times and more over the last 2 years, with the company adding more than $100 billion market capitalization. While GPU is the best commercially available hardware for the machine learning, it was not designed for this use case. To unleash the next wave of innovation, several young companies are now building specialized chips that will provide meaningful performance advancements over the GPU. GraphCore has built a new microprocessor, the Intelligence Processing Unit (IPU), that utilizes a graph architecture with the thousands of IPU. The result is a 100 times performance improvements over the GPU. The founders of the GraphCore are not the newcomers to the Silicon World. They have built and shipped 11 microprocessors in their career and have built numerous successful chip companies in the past. 
and notably, they are also from the Nvidia, so they well know what they are really doing. Of the new entrants, Graphcore is a fortress along in the development and has the most sophisticated customer interest. Then, what is the IPU and who's gonna build it? For the most organizations, the process of cognition is the single biggest challenge of the next five years. Everything will getting smarter. In theory, the limitations of existing computer chips, however, is slowing down the process. Put simply, today's technology is not up to the job. While you heard universally was the current hardware was holding developers back, says Nigel Chun, co-founder of the GraphCore. The Bristol-based startup behind a new chip to help speed up the process hogging, resource-intensive deployment of AI. By using cloud computing and vast datasets, some neural network functions sufficiently well. The more powerful AI system in development, however, struggle to process complex rapid-fire calculations at speed if using CPUs which work sequentially. In other words, latency has slowed. For 70 years, we have programmed computers to work on instructions step by step, says Chun. However, AI involves computer learning and adapting from the data they process. Speech is simple enough to understand and can be handled by existing technology. Understand the entire language and the context in which words are said in a more difficult, requires system to store data as they go and delve deep into the memory to understand the background and conversations. The computer requires to learn data is very difficult to the traditional process, it's a completely different type of workload, says Chun. Stopgap solution, including putting the CPU in the cloud to share the workload and using GPUs, are not fast enough for the rapidly advancing world of AI. Google, Amazon, and Apple are already working on hardware to solve this, prompting a flood of VC capital into the previously unfashionable startups. Chun's prior experience, he and co-founder Simon Knowles launched a semiconductor company iSera in 2002, later selling into the chip maker NVIDIA for $435 million in 2011, inspired him to think about the hardware limits artificial intelligence is butting up against. In 2016, Chun and Knowles met researchers to learn about their frustrations and future plans. The pair decided to work for the first principles, thinking less about the code and more about the computer itself. Their solution requires building an entirely new type of processor and thinking about computer workload in a different way. Then what is the major differences between GPU, CPU, and finally IPU? Ordinarily, GPU solves problems by collecting blocks of data then running algorithms or logic operations on that information in sequence. Modern quad-core chips have four parallel processors. GPUs designed for gaming have parallel processors that can perform multiple tasks at the same time. With AI system, computers need to pull huge amount of data in a parallel from various locations, then process it quickly. This process is known as a graph computing which focuses on the nodes and the network rather than if then instructions. GraphCore's new chip and intelligence processing unit, IPU, emphasized graph computing in the first process with a massively parallel, low-precision floating-point computing. It has more than 1,000 processors which communicate with each other to share the complex workload requires for the machine learning. The main arena was at the war between CPU's sequential work process and the GPU's parallel work process before. And that is a major reason why NVIDIA win over the Intel and build their kingdom with high-spec GPUs. But the time has been passed, we are no longer recognizing the cats and dogs for the videos. We are no longer satisfied with the high-speed recognition, technology is becoming more complex and more sophisticated. So as the GPU break the solid kingdom of the CPU before, it's time to make the new dimension of the innovation. Here's the reason why I used the word new dimension in here. GraphCore explained the major differences between the IPU, GPU, and CPU in this way. An easy way to think of it is CPU as a scholar, GPU as a vector, and lastly, IPU as graph. CPUs were designed for the office apps, GPUs for graphics, and IPUs for machine intelligence. IPUs have the structure which provides efficient massive computing parallelism hand-in-hand -hand with the huge memory bandwidth. 
These two characteristics are essential to deliver of the big step up in the graphic processing power, which is what we need for the machine intelligence. We believe that intelligence is the future of computing, and graph processing is the future of computers. The architecture of the hardware is quite simple and straightforward, says Chen. The difference comes in how the individual processor on the chip communicate with each other and external memory. Power through the Polar Graph Course proprietary software. I will post a link of the Polar underneath. I highly recommend you to read the papers for the deeper understanding on the entire structure. Simply speaking, IPU is very different in two big major reasons. One is the structure itself, and the other is the number of the runs. At first, let's take a look at the structure. Graph core solved the drawbacks of the GPU by architecture approach. IPU build the core and the RAM on the one processor. Easily speaking, RAM and the core are packed on one box. This is a so-called on-chip architecture. So far, the RAM's processor and the core's processor has been built separately. That was the major reason for the delay of the data processing. By packing the RAMs and the cores on a one single processor, IP reduced the distance itself. Secondly, increased the number of the RAMs. Following the on-chip architecture, GraphQL matched the number of the RAMs and the cores one to one. Think about this way. RAM is the data storage warehouse, core as a worker. As the number of the workers at the warehouse matched one to one, the data processing time has been rapidly shortened. Thanks to these architectural characteristics, the performance improvements are significant. When compared to today's most powerful GPUs, GraphCore's chip can handle advanced AI algorithms up to 10 times faster, and its data handling and processing architecture will up to 100 times more efficient. But it's in the future that the GraphCore will come into its own. The software can be fine-tuned to eke out future improvement as required. The company's supercharged chip already has plenty of interest. As I said earlier in this video, they have raised around $700 million so far and started the 2021 with a valuation of $2.77 billion. Despite that, GraphCore isn't content to stand still. As we get access to the new generation of silicon technology and as more slow continues, we can get more and more transistors into the smaller space. We will see people making new breakthroughs thanks to the AI. It's called the democratization of AI, said Matt Files, the head of the software for GraphCore. In the press briefing, company that want to use the AI, he said, can get a very respectable result as an alternative to NVIDIA and it only gets better over time. We will keep pushing our system. NVIDIA or what we are going after, he said, we have to be the alternative to NVIDIA. The future of computing GPUs do so much more than graphic processing nowadays, but that is what they are designed to do at heart. IPUs as a class of chip really are proposed built with AI in mind. It's not only a strong branding play. GraphCore has raised $710 million funding so far, and they are backed by many of the venture capitals. And it really makes sense, as physical space within computers is no longer the limiting factors in any one's given capacitors. Why not pack multiple purpose chips onto one motherboard? If you can get them working and concert together, you can revolutionize modern computing. So, of course, if all those venture capitalists want to put money into niche chip maker that show real promise for the visible hardware products. IPUs could be just a start. Other companies are talking about DPUs, Data Flow Processing Units, NPU, Neural Processing Unit, and EPUs, Emotion Processing Units. And why not? The computers of the future will require some combinations of these skills to remain relevant. Why not purpose-built hardware tasked with providing it? How amazing things will be happening on the future of computing? Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and share your thumbs up. I will hop around the world and bring lots of thousands of funny stories to you guys. And see you again. Bye!